Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we're going to give you a quick rundown of the Logic Transform piece. The Logic Transform piece is available in the Scene Editor under the Logic section. Just click and drag the Transform icon into your scene to add it to your game. This is an invisible game piece, but it allows you to modify the properties for an existing asset in your scene. Specifically, you can modify the position, rotation, scale, linear velocity, or angular velocity of an asset within your game. Because this is an invisible item in your game, players won't see it. They'll just see the effects of it played out. So let me use this piece to go ahead and modify this enemy here. Let's take a quick look at this enemy's properties. Right now we see that the enemy just has a fixed position and scale, but then we have movement that's added. And it looks like the enemy is going to be traveling forward at a speed of two. So say that I wanted this enemy to change direction once it hits this logic piece so that the enemy would come forward and then move backward after interacting with this logic piece. I could set up the modifiers here to do just that. In this case, I'm going to change the linear velocity modifier to negative two. And then I'm going to change the affected asset to be the enemy. And I'm going to change the effect operation to replace. What this means is that the linear velocity modifier of the transform logic piece is going to replace the linear velocity of this particular enemy. So currently it's set to two, meaning that the enemy is moving forward at a speed of two. And once it interacts with this logic piece, it's going to change the enemy's linear velocity to negative two, sending the enemy backward. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up just a little bit and move this over. And let's play it through to see what happens. So you can see very quickly that it did exactly what we wanted it to do. Once the enemy hit this logic piece, it turned around and went back the other direction. Let's add another logic piece and make this a little more interesting. So I'll bring this in, this transform logic piece. And I'm going to add this back over here. I'm going to move our enemy forward just a little bit so that we're not collided with that piece. And then I'm going to again change the linear velocity modifier to two so that the enemy moves forward once it hits this logic piece. I'm going to change this to affect the enemy and set this to replace. And then I'm also going to change the scale. So let's set the scale of the enemy to be two whenever it interacts with this logic piece. Let's play it through and see what happens. So we have the enemy hit the first logic piece and the second one and it scales up ginormous. Pretty cool. You can see how you can make lots of changes to the interactions of items in your scene using this invisible transform logic piece. Now, one more quick thing I want to point out is the effect operation. Currently, we've set this to replace the modifiers of the enemy that collides with the logic transform piece. However, we could also set this to add. And what that would mean is that the linear velocity modifier and scale modifier values would be added to the enemy's existing values for those particular traits. So if we look again at the enemy's values, when it's coming backward toward this logic piece, it's currently going to be moving at negative two because it'll interact with this logic piece and then move backwards at a rate of negative two. So on this logic piece, before it hits it, if we were to set this to add, that would mean that we would add the linear velocity modifier of a value of two to the enemy's linear velocity of negative two, effectively canceling out the enemy's linear velocity. It might just be easier to show you what I mean. If I play it through, we have the enemy move forward, and as it bounces back, it hits this logic piece, and we have the scale modifier here, which adds two to the value of both the X and Y scale of the enemy, and then it adds two to the linear velocity of the enemy, which was moving at negative two, meaning that the enemy effectively stops. You have a couple different options with the effect operation here. You can set to add, where the logic transform piece adds the values of the modifier to the existing assets values. Multiply, where the existing value of the asset is multiplied by the modifying value of the logic transform piece, or replace, which is what we did in our first example. Lots of customization options. Hope you check it out and have fun with the Logic Transform piece. Thanks for watching.